Yo, what is going on everybody? I am Stacey and thank you for checking out today's video. I'm very excited for today because I'm going to be finally holding in my hands a card that I have very much wanted. I'm talking about the Dragapult Prime card. Now, I've had this box for a little while and I did plan on opening it as soon as I got it. However, I didn't realize that there weren't very many packs inside of it, so it didn't make sense to really open it on a collecting cardboard show video. So, I went and picked up a Nether 10, Collections 10 with the Dark Sylveon on front. So with the combination of these two, it's going to make a good video. The exciting part is, inside of the Dragapult box, there are a few good, pretty rad collectibles that I'm excited to get into. So, with all that being said guys, welcome to Collecting Cardboard. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and open this first, just to get it out of the way, because, again, we have opened this before. Oh my gosh! Okay. We have opened up both of these before, the Dark Sylveon and the Charizard. Lance's Charizard, I think it is. So we know exactly what to expect in here. We've got the Dark Sylveon card. I think this is my... Ah! Second or th third of these, to be honest. I've had a couple. It's a pretty dope card. I don't think I'll need more than one, though. So that might go to, you know, whoever wants it. <laughs> All right, here's the here's the good part, though. Here's the here's why we came to the video. We have one, two, three, four celebrations, and two normal packs. We'll set those off there and right there. And then, oh yeah, the paper. We don't care about the paper. All right. So the real reason. I'm excited for today is this guy right here. This wonderful box right here. Dragapult Prime. That Dragapult is just absolutely one of my favorite Pokemon for sure. And I saw this box go live on the internet and I was like, I don't know what it is, but click, 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 click. So I clicked it right away. I do know it's not what I expected, but inside of it, there are some really cool things. And one of them was quite a surprise. And I'm anxious to actually see it. And you'll you'll know exactly what I'm talking about as soon as I get it out of here. But the main reason I wanted to get this was indeed because of the Prime card. Now, even though this is a promo, even though this is a promo card, I'm this is probably going to be going on the shelf. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, so first of all, let's just look at th the reason I bought this. This guy right here. Look how dope this card is. So this is called the Dragapult Prime card. And you can usually tell Prime cards because of this, like, uh, the outline around the box. is super, super rad. Of course, Prime cards are very, very old. So what's cool about this is they took a brand new Pokemon and put it in an old-style card. I absolutely love this. The gold and the silverish border around Dragapult and the purple is just so, so cool. This is going to go into a sleeve, and again... I'm going to put this up on my uh, shelf right next to the Dragapult VMAX card I got. Super rad. Very, very happy with that. And then, also, we've got a big boy. The big boy. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one yet. Since that guy's going on the shelf, I'm not sure what to do with this one. He's probably going to go inside of a binder and just chill in there. We also did get two more packs of the celebrations and a nether pack of normal. So there are packs for us to open today. But we're not done with all the goodies yet. We also have this really dope, very large 25th anniversary coin, which I like this quite a bit. It's got a good flick to it. I like that. I think that would be the coin if I ever ended up playing. That would probably be the coin I'd use. But here's what I didn't know. Oh wait, hold on, we got this too. Talking about Pokemon Prime. I like that they did this. Will I read it? No. But here's what I didn't know was in this. This bad boy right here. We have a binder. That's, that's pretty rad. I wasn't expecting it. But, I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's really cool. I just don't know what to do with it. Because I use my cool binders for all those. I got a Raichu binder. 
Okay, so we've got the two promo cards out of the way. We've got the big boy promo card out of the way. I guess there's really only one thing left to do, and that's get down into some packs. We're going to start off with the normal packs, as usual. There's three total of those, and then six total celebrations. So there is quite a bit we can get into, especially since we're opening up Vivid Voltage and Battle Styles. Those are my two chase... Uh, chase packs, I guess, because they have the cards in them that I really need. <laughs> Wish me luck, I guess. I just want something new. Out of all of these packs today, I just want something new that I don't have. Lightning Energy, Aloudrid, Zebstrika, Coding Energy, Rayolu, Slandile, I almost said it backwards, Whalmer, Beldum, the reverse is a Charmeleon, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I've got it, so whatever, but, you know, a reverse holographic Charmeleon is pretty rad. And the rare of the pack is a Clefable. So we are striking out yet again with Vivid Voltage. It seems to be just how it's meant to be. I don't think I'm allowed to have cool Pikachu cards. I actually don't know if I have any cool Pikachu cards other than the promos. Yep. <laughs> Grass Energy, Alistair... Cramorant, Nessa, Ferrisseed, Rayolu, Sandile, said it right that time, Whalmer, Rayolu, which we've had two in this pack. The reverse is a Drone Rodham, not a rare, but the rare of the pack is a Preserker. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I'm just sad. I'm really just sad. Alright, Battle Styles is next. You already... I don't even have to tell you guys. You already know the one card that I want from this set. And if I ever get it, I'll probably cry. Yeah, I don't know. That'll be a crazy day. Darkness Energy. Swordbert and Shieldbert. Fero. Carnivine. Spoink. Poor Spoink. Roly Coley. Frillish. Esper, Blitbug, how I wish I could have used you in my playthrough. It's not too late. I know it's not too late, but it is what it is. The reverse is uh, Barry. What's up, Barry? I actually might keep this on the shelf, too, just because he's got a special place in my heart now. The rare of the pack is... Actually, that is a rare, so that's a hit, but the rare of the pack is a Jellicent. So we went through the main cards and hit absolutely nothing. Unless you want to count the reverse holographic berry, which I don't know if I want to or not. <laughs> That's okay, though, because we're about to open up a ton of holographics with the six packs of Celebration. Now, I said this a second ago. I just want, even if it's just one, one card that I haven't pulled yet. Just one different one, please. That would just be great. I'm only missing one card from the actual base set, and that's the Flying Pikachu VMAX, I think. So we'll see. Starting off with an Eveltal. A Palkia. The secret rare, if there is one. Which there's not. We're out on. But the rare, which is where the Pikachu will be, I think. And a Lunala. That's okay. I needed an extra Lunala. I haven't had an extra one to give to the kids yet, I don't think. So that's okay. I just don't want to slip. I don't want to slip backwards into my bad luck. <laughs> Xerneas. I'm always scared of slipping backwards. Oh, oh, the potential secret rare, a Cosmom, and the rare rare of the pack is a Solgaleo. I don't think I've got any extras of this one either. So my kids are getting lucky today. I have not. That's okay. As long as they're happy, I guess I'm happy. Plus, I do. I do have my Dragobolt Prime card, and that was the whole reason of today's video. <laughs> Starting it off with a Palkia. I saw a black back there. I saw a little black border, so we've got something. A Lugia. Lugia. I have no idea why I said it's so weird. The potential secret rare is a Cleffa. So we've hit another secret rare Cleffa, the baby Pokemon. I do have this one. So uh, someone just got lucky in my household. Who knows? The rare rare of the pack is... A flying Pikachu V. Now, I don't. I'm not even gonna sleeve that. 
I do need Flying Pikachu V Max, but not necessarily the V. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's okay. I think this tin, this tin actually was cheaper than the normal tins. It was only $17, maybe $18 with tax. So, I mean, anything from it's going to be good. It's definitely worth its money, I guess is what I was saying. I don't remember how much I spent on the Dragapult box. If I needed... Oh, crap, I dropped the good cards. If I needed a binder, it would be really, really worth the money. But since I so far have only got the Dragapult card out of it, it's not been worth the money. Palkia, for some reason, we're getting him a lot today. Cosmoem, the potential secret rare. Lugia. And the last rare rare of the pack is... Yes! 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 That's all I know how to say right now. I have completed the Celebrations base set. I'm very, very happy about that. That was the last card that I needed. Let's go. I'm very happy about that. Look how big this boy is. You're going to need a lot more than those balloons to hold you up, Pikachu. I'm sorry. That is so rad. I'm very happy. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure that actually came out of the tin. So, thank you very much, tin. You are definitely worth the money. <laughs> oh, it feels good. Completed the base set of celebrations. Now, I just need, like... I think I only need like eight more of the secret rares. I've got nine of them, so I just need eight more. And hey, I've got a Cleffa if anybody wants to trade. <laughs> that is super awesome. I'm very, very excited about that. The binder's going to look phenomenal as soon as I put those inside. But we've got a, two more packs to open. Let's see what happens. Dialga. A Kyogre. The potential secret rare. An Eveltal. And the rare rare is... The Pikachu Full Art, which is always a very happy, pretty boy. I think I've got like seven of these now. No, maybe not. Maybe like five. But either way, I did say I wanted a lot because I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But I feel like there's some cool artwork that could be done with this. Whether it's just in a frame with the other Pikachu or something. I don't know. Regardless, welcome. Welcome home. Now, we are on the last pack, which is usually the time, of course, I ask for some uh, a like for luck. But since we're opening Celebrations, I try not to do that because Celebrations is a holographics. So I don't, need, I don't really need luck. But what I will ask is if you enjoyed the video at any point, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. So we'll just leave it at that and then we'll, we'll go on. We'll go on to the last pack of the video. Overall... I'm very happy because I pulled uh, the one card that I needed, and I also got my Dragapult V, or Dragapult Prime. Whew. Kyogre. Eveltal. The last potential secret rare is... We're going to skip it. We're going to go straight back. We're going to go backwards to the rare because I don't need it. I have all the rares that I need. So we got the Eveltal. A Mew. There we go. A Mew is our last rare rare of the pack, which is awesome. But if you saw the last Celebrations video, I have like six of these now, which is hilarious to me. But Mew is absolutely phenomenal, especially this card. I love it. It just makes me happy. Let's put that in the hit pile. That I pulled this shiny Mew. I can't even believe that. That's so rad. Okay, anyways, the last card of the video, the potential secret rare is... Okay, it is a secret rare. It's Here Comes Team Rocket. This is a secret rare indeed, so we did get a hit. I do have this one, so that's kind of a bummer. I'm still chasing after things like the Venusaur and the Charizard and uh, some different ones like that, but a secret rare pulled is still pretty awesome in my opinion. Let's go ahead and get these back in the right order. Let's even include these bad boys. All right, we started the video off with the promo Dark Sylveon. Then we got the cool boy. It's hard to it's hard to get this to look good on this camera, but trust me, in real life this card is super super rad. Then we have Barry, Flying Pikachu V, which was kind of upsetting at the time. We hit a Baby Cleffa secret rare. Then we hit the card I needed, ladies and gentlemen, the Flying Pikachu V Max. Let's go. 
So hyped about that. The full art Pikachu, the Mew, and the last one was the secret rare of Here Comes Team Rocket. All around fantastic. All right, there we go, guys. We, I essentially had one goal, and that was to pull one card that I haven't had, and I, we did it. My base set for the celebration set is now complete. Granted, there was only 25 cards that I needed to pull. It still took me several, it took me several packs to get there. So now it's just the hunt for the secret rares. I do have one more box up somewhere up there that has some celebration packs in it, but I don't really want to open that one just, in it, just yet. It's cool having a Charizard box on my shelf, so we'll see. I am going to keep trying to find products because there are several of celebrations that I want, but uh, celebrations is expensive. And the cool stuff is even more expensive, so who knows? Anyways, today was still a major success. I had a lot of fun. But, but, guys, the next video, and I haven't even said anything about this yet, the next video is going to be, well, the next card video, the next collecting cardboard video is going to be part one of the two-part, I can't even call it celebration, but I am celebrating Getting 50 subscribers, guys. We have been talking about this for a little while now. That once we hit 50 subscribers on this channel, we are going to open up my booster box of Roaring Skies. Not Evolving Skies, Roaring Skies. The 2015 Pokemon set it has Rayquaza. It's got the Latios and Latias in it. It's got some absolute... The potential to pull good cards is phenomenal in this set. Trust me. So that will be the next one, part one. We're splitting it into two to, to make it last a little longer because whew, it's an intense set. But thank you to you guys. Thank you to everybody that is new. Thank you to everyone that was here from day one. Thank you to anybody that has subscribed to this channel, that has spent any time watching it, that has liked the video, guys. Thank you so very much. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I love you guys so much. I have fun doing this, and the fact that anybody likes watching me do this kind of stuff makes my life so much better. So, I can't do anything besides thank you guys. I appreciate it so, so much. That was a heck of an outro, so we're just going to go ahead and skip to the end of it now. <laughs> I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.